And then we might as well show you the the old getting the and I missed him. I missed him. That's what happens when you don't target lock and I dodged too. And now I'm out of stamina. I'm so good at this. Hello and well met fellow travelers of the game universe. My name is Steady Addicts, and welcome back to Surviving Exiled Lands. We started building up our little doohickey here, and we need to get that going because I'm kind of get scared about having a sandstorm. So I did go out, and in the last episode, we used our all our hide to make leather, like a dope. Because if you look in here, the light light look for light might make it easier the light armor you need to make a, a lining and then you can make the so here's the light gloves you need two of those obviously one for each hand you need 10 armor per or 10 hide not leather and then you got to get 10 more to make the gloves so in order to make light armor we need that um there's nothing stopping us from making medium so the lining for that takes leather and that's what I was thinking of but it's just gonna make us too heavy um, it takes too much encumbrance so we wouldn't be able to carry much else because we need uh, I did it again. if we need to um, we gonna need to start fighting and stuff we need strength and um, grit especially for that so we need to start reallocating points to other things and to do that we we, we we're just gonna have to be in light because once we when we get a higher level and we got more attribute points to spend then it'll be okay but until then we need to to use light armor so we're gonna start making it but i killed two crudo and i used a skinning knife and gave me all this which is ridiculous that it gives you that much i made a door and a bunch of walls so that we can start um, here we need to craft up as you saw with the, the recipe for the light stuff we need uh, the light stuff see this is why I search you need lots of twine so we'll make some twine and then we'll be able to make our armor we should be able to get armored up right now and we're gonna start building up this doorway he's gonna in the first episode, I mentioned these guys aren't mean. Remember I walked right up to them? Oh, looks like they still are. Call me a liar. I guess I'm a liar. I swear they like... Anyway, I guess I was wrong. So we're going to start building up our little area here. Because if we get a sandstorm, I'm going to be in a world of hurt. So building-wise, we talked a little bit about it. But I didn't go much into it. So I'm building a little 5x5. Five five, and I always build in, build, in, build, build in odds. Because it makes it easier for putting roofs on and stuff. Building in evens is what is known as evil. <laughs> so we don't do that. And then it's nice that it shows you which way is the outer face. So this is how it should go. If you scroll with the mouse wheel, it will switch between. And this would put it backwards. So it's going to be towards me. But we want it that way. And we want one, two, three in. Because it's one, two, three in. And, and you left click. Boom. Got it. Okay. So now I'm going to put my walls on my inventory. Hey, stop kicking. And then we are going to press five and do the same thing. It should snap. It'll snap. So. We'll do that, and I'm just going to go all the way around with this, and I'm just going to have one door on this little place so I don't have limited floor space. I want to be able to put as much in here as I can, and it becomes problematic, and this is why I was saying I, was, I didn't want to put things down because of that, but the easy thing is that we can just go outside. If you right click, it'll stop. So you, if you're in the middle of building and you go, oh, I want to stop. How do I get rid of it? You just right click to cancel. 
I believe there's a bug. Let's see if we can duplicate it. So if I just switch to a tool, no, nah, I can't duplicate it. Sometimes for some reason, these um, tool tips will stay up even though you've got tools and you're not building anymore. Speaking of tools, notice my durability is going down. That's not the right spot. We need a blacksmith bench. Okay, there we go. Oh, I made the cleaver. And I made the poignards. So when you want to repair, I usually just put it on the blacksmith bench and do it instead of moving iron and leather or whatever you need on you. So once you get past stone tools, it's probably easier just to, to put them on there to repair them. Just move it on there, repair it, put it back in. You can't do that if you've got the item in your hand. I think we've covered this. If I try to move it in here, it won't because I've got it equipped. So that's why I told you that X is useful because you can do that. Move it on there, do your repair, move it back. And then you, I think you can do X and you go right back where you were. So that's why that's useful. Okay, so we can put the rest of our walls up from the outside. It makes a boom sound, so I go boom. Can't help it. it, just makes me do it. Boom. Won't do it too much though. See, I put that too close, which is what I told you I was worried about. So we'll have to pick that up. Oh, oh. climbing through doorways is a pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do it so we'll, we'll get a stair up there if you just go to pick it up it'll take everything that was in it and put it in your inventory so it will be you can get pretty encumbered pretty quickly um, I also want to show you that you can make these window walls these um, just says frames uh, where's the regular wall why is it eluding me there it is wall and then this sandstone frame I'm gonna craft one just to show you because I'm here to show you but normally this is something that if you don't have um, sandstorms on it's, it's not a big window but you'd be able to see out but I don't like using them because when there are sandstorms if you if you like walk past this you'll take damage so it doesn't give you much view and it's not very helpful so I, I just avoid them to get rid of things you can pre press and hold E and then you got an option to dismantle or cancel and then if you want you can just go like this and go right over it but it, it's hard to see so I tend not to do that just in case I do something wrong and you get items back when you do that I don't know if you get them when you cover them over Let's test that out. Let's let's for science it. Can I can I can I please? I can't. It's the same type, so it won't let me. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Well, I'm probably gonna go I made all these walls because I'm planning on going too high. But I don't need too high high. I don't like cramped. I'm not gonna put a straight um it has to be at least too high because I don't want a wall where I can't even jump but it's too high if you do that so we'll work out we'll work out how we want to do this but we just need to get a roof over our heads as soon as possible so that we can survive the sandstorms plus if anybody's attacking us it's useful to be able to run away sometimes you just have to run away let's craft the stairs and then I like making corners too. Because it makes it easier to go up. Boom. And then we get our corner. And our other corners crafting. And then you can rotate these. That was in the right spot. And that automatically put it in the right spot. And that way you can like any angle you're coming up, you can just run up to it. All right? Remember, this isn't permanent. We're going to end up expanding it as we go. So let's get a door. We can only make this crappy door right now. You know what? We should be starting to make our armor too. So let's do that. Let's 
Let's craft 20 more of those. And then I'm just gonna do the old filter for light. We need two boot linings. Now, if you get a recruit in here that is higher level, I don't know what level it is, but if you, I know named for sure, you'd only need one. You could, because they allow you to make, use less resources. So, but for now, we're gonna have to make two. Two, two, so one of those, one of those. I only got one butt and then when all that's done we can start crafting these because you got to have the linings to craft those and man did I get a lot of stuff right off the bat um using that skinning knife I got my stuff really quick okay we can put this back down I want to I want to actually spec into this torch bearer so we can make some wall torches because I want to be able to record something at night you know so if we could see at night did I buy it did I not buy it torch bearer bracketed torch at the artisan table so we need to make the artisans work table before we can do that so we will do that. These are still crafting up. Um, I tend to just want to do them all at once so I don't get confused what's done and what isn't. And then keep searching for it over and over and over again. So I'm going to wait for that. And since it's dark and I can't craft the artisan's table yet. Well, I probably can't. I still have stuff for it, probably. 40 wood? I can do that. I can do that. All right, for, let's get a torch. Jeez, making this harder than it has to be. Okay, we got a torch. Let's put this back down. Try to make it so it doesn't go into the wall. See, it's, you can see it go into the wall. I usually bring it in, and then I... Bring it out until it's not anymore, and then a little more. And I'll try that. And as long as it's not going through the wall, I'm happy. And that's pretty good. The same for these. I, I want to remove. I want to move. Remove. I want to move them. Oh, I've got enough wood on me now that I can make the artisan table. So let's do that. Craft it. Give it to me. Put the tar back in here and that. And then I will pick these up and replace them. But I'll do it during the day when I can see better. And we also need a carpenter's bench. But I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to finish this. So we'll, we'll get that after we finish this. Okay, those are all done. So we can go ahead and filter for our light again. Not let get like the. Uh, I'm <laughs> spelling what I'm saying, trying and failing to say. Okay, so now we can craft the chest piece and gauntlets. You only have to craft one; it gives you two. Um, do, do, do. Turban. Finally, putting something on our heads, even though it looks silly. Okay, I believe that's everything. So we that over here. All right. On our way. Yeah, I got to figure out what I want to do with the roof. I don't want like go on a complete A-frame type thing because it's going to be too high. So I'll figure something out. We'll work it out. And then I'll let you know what I found out. But I want to... Oop, don't do that. Won't do that. All right, we can start putting this on. These are going to be useless, but you can um, shift click that on and it'll replace. And we should get a journey point for equipping a yeah, piece of light armor. I'm really thirsty. So thirsty. Oops. No, yeah, I drink. Drink. Drink some drink. No, I'm not. Guess you can't do it. Eat up too. There we go. 
Okay. Wrong, wrong, no, that's wrong. Okay, put your turban on, put your wrap on. There we go, we're fully equipped. Our armor's up to 31. And these we don't really care about, so we can just drop them. Space bar drop. We got our artisan table. Oh, did I just drop it? I think I just dropped it. Yep. <laughs> Good thing they don't res despawn right away, huh? All right. This, I don't know where to put it. We'll just put it right here for now. I can always move these around as I see fit. Okay, as straight as possible. Boom. It's going to be daytime before I get around to doing anything anyway. All right, let's pick that up. Let's pick that up and get encumbered. No, we didn't get encumbered. Let's put this back. I'll get it in the right spot. Our little purple bar is moving. We might have a purge someday. We don't want it too quick, though, because we want to be able to prep. Before that comes, we definitely need to go recruiting. That's coming soon, folks. Coming soon. How are we? That's pretty close. <laughs> it's like ridiculously close. It's almost too perfect. But we'll leave it. I just don't like it if it's poking out the other side. It's, it breaks the whole realism of it, you know? So. Boom. Okay, and then this one can move closer now. Although, I might decide, and I probably will, I'm going to put chests between here and everything. And look at that, it's daytime. The chest, can I make the large chest now? Uh, these are called, those are called boxes. And I want the one that's chest. No, not Keaton. I think it's chest. Let's look for that. Yeah. Large chest requires level 20. Okay. So we can't make that yet. But I'm not going to go crazy with the storages until we can really build it up. So, hey, we're in armor and we're in iron tools. Drop those. And weapons. Um, the only other thing is we could get a better shield. So let's go to weapons and we can unlock wooden targe so we can make a better shield. Where is a wooden targe made? I'm pretty sure it's not in here. So it's going to be, I think they're made at the armor's bench. Yeah. So we need 16 and wood and eight iron bars. Well, I got six iron bars on me. And we got plenty of wood. We need to put these back in here. And these back in. Uh, what else does I gonna make? T oh, bracket torch. But that's okay, I can wait on those till I'm ready. All right, that doesn't go there. And then these go over here. And I'm not sure what to do. I'm just gonna put my walls on here, use it as storage. Uh, where did I have the put stone in there for now I guess okay so I'm gonna figure out the building situation here and then I'll come back and we'll we'll work it out together all right I did one corner here and I'm kind of limited because I don't I don't until we get the next level of building we don't have very much designs that we can go off of so I've got the slope corners and that's about it. And it was just going to be too high if you put another wall up and then go across or up more. And I don't need that big a place right now. I just I just need this floor room to be able to put all my um, tables down and stuff. So this would be fine. So it's just the slope corner with slope roofs. And then I've got uh, sandstone ceilings, I think. Sandstone, uh, yeah, ceiling. Having trouble with the word ceiling for some reason. Okay, so these can be finicky. It's easier if you've got, like, if you're going to be putting it out here, you got to try to turn it, and I'm trying to turn it, and I can't. It, it's giving me trouble. So they're easier to do if you just kind of point toward an existing one. So that's something to know. 
And then these two, these slip corners, they they want to go where they want to go. And it can be a pain. So there. So they're kind of finicky. And then um, I do want to show you that in Conan Exiles, you can climb. And it's easy to forget that. So you come up here and keep wanting to climb. And then if you're climbing and it seems like you're never going to stop climbing, just do C and you'll just stand up. So you can come up here and build from here. And sometimes that is easier. So you can just come up here and do your thing. And I'm not going to be able to build much more right now. I'm going to have to go do another resource gathering mission. Seems like it's never ending, but that's how it is in the beginning. Yep, that's it. So I have to go collect. Let's see if we need... Um, for these, it's easier. You need plant fiber and wood, I think. Or branches and plant fiber. And I'm out of plant fiber. So i got to collect some of that. Once we can make a sickle. When can we... What is it called? A sickle? Uh, scythe? Sickle? No. Maybe it is here. Yeah. Steel sickle. Can't make those until you get to steel at level 30. But you can collect a whole bunch then. But until then, we got to sit there and pick them. Pick and pick and pick. All right, I'm gonna go collect some plant fiber. Um, there's not much here. So I guess I could show you where I would go for that. And always a good thing to do is put your weapons and stuff back on your bar. Don't forget about them before you leave. <laughs> or you can, up there there's kudo and stuff, but that's towards the city. It's no big deal. We can, ha we can handle it. And then we might as well show you the the old getting the and I missed him. I missed him. This is what happens when you don't target lock and I dodge too. And now I'm out of stamina. I'm so good at this. Alright, I'm just gonna do the walk and circle thing. Oh he got me again. Oh and I forgot to show you guys I, I got I get easily distracted. If you're holding up your shield, you don't take any damage. But you do not regain any stamina. So that's good to know. Just so you know. And you see, we were getting bleed stacks with the axe. And that's kind of why I like the axe. Is it's tougher than the the daggers. It, get, it does more damage than the daggers. But it also does bleed. So now we're getting this exquisite meat. And look at how much meat we got. Look at that, guys. 20 of that, but 132 and a head. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so that's why the meat, and you got no trouble eating. No trouble whatsoever. Remember that exquisite meat heals for like 60, I think. Whereas the grilled meat oh, it's for, uh, is for 40. I didn't get into... Um, everything has different... I don't know if it's different, but the spoil times on them. So you got to consider that too. Up here, on this ledge right here, if you climb up here, if you climb up here, this is quite a bit of plant fiber that you can gather without being bothered. There's nobody up here, no animals or anything. So you can just sit here and collect these. We're probably gonna need more branches. I've been using my pick on wood trees because I need the bark, but I'm getting ahead of myself with the bark. We'll be getting past where we need branches, and then we'll get so many, which would be silly. We won't even need them all. But but I, I haven't been showing you guys around. I've been just going to doing it and then showing you what I did. So I thought it'd be good to show you a little bit of the, the area, too, here. Show you where it's safe and where it isn't. Just jump down here. So up here, you've got more iron and wood and plants and there's nobody around there iron breaker ridge and i'm out of stamina always and look at all this this is all stone and coal i could get too and there's some more iron down here that stay away because there's undead um that are um guarding that 
Another reason why I chose this place is you see that glowing thing over there? That's an obelisk and we'll get into that later. But those you can attune and then you can make a map room and then you can just transport yourself throughout the map to instead of having to run around. I should have got the wood when I was up there, but whatever. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. So now we can use our handy dandy axe to get some wood and branches. Don't need the wood as much as the branches, but yeah, I made way too many walls. I was thinking, oh, I got to make it too high, but I, I'm not at that stage yet I'm, where I'm going to build that big of a base. I just want to build a little hut. 5x5 five five is plenty big to be able to put one of each thing. I can move my for forges in there and we could go. Yeah, the, the resources in this area are ridiculous. You get all the stuff you need to get yourself going very quickly. So that's very nice. All this iron. Yeah, down there there's scorpions and snakes and stuff. You don't want to run through there yet. Not at our current wimpy level, especially since I haven't put anything into strength or anything. Should be spending those points. I could actually put more into um, encumbrance right now and I could keep going, but I'm fine. I'm going to respect soon. I'm almost done with the building and I'm not going to need that high of encumbrance. So I'm probably going to do more strength and grit because we're going to talk about right after this. The first thing we want to do is go recruiting because once we get one recruit, we can use that recruit to help us get more. It makes it a lot easier. And I'll show you all that. But I don't think we're going to be able to do it here. Unless you guys want to see me do my first death. Because <laughs> it'll probably happen. But we I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe I'll go crazy. Maybe I'll be crazy. Oh, you know what? It's probably a good idea to start crafting some of them. While we're running along so we're gonna need two more of those and some more of those i don't have enough rocks for that i'm gonna have to get more rocks and then the funny thing is too that if you um craft it then the um your weight the it, it weighs less the raw materials weigh more than the, the end product so when you craft it you'll you'll get more what? Did I pick something up? So this is what happens when you get encumbered. You walk slow, and then if you try to run, your stamina goes down really slow. I mean, pretty quick. And then the quickest way to move is to roll, but you use stamina, stamina then too. But it'll get you there quicker. What did I pick up that... I was just telling you it's lighter, and then that happened, and that makes me not happy. <laughs> I'm just going to use this as storage for now. Because I don't use the artisan table for much. We're going to make a targe though, right? No. What was it in here that we needed? The brackets. Torch. Yes. Yes. I remember now. I'm, I'm all there. I'm there with you. So we'll start putting these down. Five. Rotate it with the scroll. And then we'll switch to... Because it... It's too hard to put over here. Look at that. I can't. I can't. I can't get it to go on the inside. So it's a pain. So I'd rather just. It's easier just to. Do this. And then you've got that edge. To go off of. And then you just rotate it. Boom. Boom. Okay. I think this is actually enough. I made too many. To where we would be safe in the event of a sandstorm but we'll get completely covered oh i did get um i i put the one ceiling and i stood under it and i got uh journey j for journey i wish you could search these that'd be nice i got the the fine shelter one i don't know where it is but i got the fine shelter and then yeah so i did get that let's get a couple more stone oh i'm still encumbered 
Almost. I'm just gonna get encumbered here. Oh, it's all this meat, probably. Oh, I got all these walls on me, too. And all that wood. I forgot. So we'll craft two of those. We'll go drop some of this off and get rid of some weight. Um, speaking of which, we need a better campfire. We already specced into that. We need 30 more stone, and I use my stone. So we'll build that in a second. Let's put this in here. So we're really not going to need to hide for much. We'll just put these in here for now. Uh, actually, I don't want to put that in there. Just put it in here. Don't need all that. We'll just take half of it. Then we'll get us some more. See all this has come back. It's been like two days in game. Something like that. All came back, so that's good. We've almost got gotta hit it all the way. I did. Hit it, hit it. I'm gonna have to do some more collecting. I like to keep my forges going and get lots of iron because like I told you we need to upgrade this building to the second tier, but that this purge meter is really low. We don't have to worry about it for a while. It's going to take a while to get that all the way up. So we've got some time. So after this, after we get this going, I want to, is that one too many? I always craft too many, obviously. It's not all that much, but it's going to be home. Actually, I didn't craft enough. Perfect. All right, now we are completely safe except the door. We need a door. Craft a, craft a crappy door. These benches look very similar, don't they? Don't normally have them close together. Want to repair door. Craft that, and then we also want to craft a bed. Uh, it doesn't matter. These are all just different styles. You can make a crappy looking bed or we need 20 hide for that don't have enough hide we're gonna have to go on killing spree oh hey it's my house Don't scare me like that coming in my house what do we need uh the, was it the targe what do we need for that we just need eight iron we got that we've got the iron we need branches and we're gonna have to build torches for in there. Put this in here. We, we're to the point we can move these in now too. So I'll move those in. I already moved everything out of that one so we can just pick it up. Those are lockable. As you saw here, you can you can lock them. And that's so that you keep riffraff out of there for if you're doing, um, do I even care about that? I don't really care about that. Okay, we just pick this one up. Because I'm going to build a, oh no. That was a mistake. This coal is very heavy. It's always 13. So, I keep forgetting to get rid of these walls too. So we need a little more iron. Now we're uncovered. Oh, it's going to take us a while. We'll get there, we'll get there. Come on, come on. It's almost night again. It's always almost night. Do, 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 do. Get the stamina back. Can't do anything until you get it back. Okay, we're going to drop these walls off in here. That'll help immensely. And we'll put the branches in here. And we needed the uh, iron in here for now so we can make the tar targe. Excellent. And it's getting dark. But we can make a wall one now. We just need to make a couple more torches. And we'll make at least one or two more of those. Just get rid of all my wood. Make some torches. We'll do two more. Actually, we'll do three more because we need one. We'll put one outside too. And we need one to carry. Because it's getting dark. 
All right. And we'll make two more of those. And then you don't have to worry about these feel, feeding the fuel, fueling the fires, because you can't put it up here. Because they will permanently burn. You can turn them on and off by pressing E. And you can dismantle, return to inventory. Or interact to turn it on and off. But that's it. So we'll put a little more light in here. It's going to be limited with... There, put them in the middle. This one's going to have to be a little offset. Because of where I had that. Now if we take a torch away, it's still pretty dark. We're going to get to a level that we can put uh, uh, ones on the ceiling. And that would be very helpful. So I'll probably build a couple more torches. We'll have one over, maybe even two, one on either side. And we'll put one outside. But this is our building, and we'll build a campfire and put it down. Yep. But, and then we are out of time again. That's all I have time for. We'll, um, but we finally got the house built. I know it's taken me forever, but now we can do some exploration. So, me and my, my armor. Let's get a better shot of that here. Let's, <laughs> if that's better. Yeah. Eerie glow. So next time, I'm gonna probably head into Sepamaru and show you the, another reason why we're here is for the, um, the loot. You can loot stuff that's harder to get right away as long as you don't run into bandits. So there's a couple safe spots at least that I know that we can go and loot some chests and then we're gonna head down to the beginner area so that we can um, we're gonna need to start looking at making flasks and stuff so we need to get some crystal there's a cave that we can go to and we'll probably do that and that's probably all we'll have time for so I hope you enjoyed your visit and your travels will bring you back this way and until we see you again keep it steady